can you feel it? That thing in the air tonight, that thing that symbolizes the change is coming. And we can all sense the change is coming. There's something special that's happening right now in this very moment. Something that's probably never happened before, but something that will continue to happen long into the future until the day that these industries are abolished. Something's emerging and something is changing and it's changing within all of us. We can feel it within all of us. We've been to the conference, we're here tonight, we're bearing witness and we can feel that change and that passion and that fire and that determination, that spark and that conviction as it rises and it fuels and it becomes ever more stronger with each second that grows. And we see the injustice and we face the injustice and it drives that conviction and it drives our passion and our fuel to burn bright and to burn harder and to burn fiercer and we can bring about that change by being here tonight by bearing witness by showing people the individuals behind their purpose by purchases by showing people the individuals who suffer through their unconscious actions and that's all we have to do is show people the reality and show people the truth of what occurs behind these walls and even though what happens tonight will continue to happen. And even though we can't save the pigs that we'll bear witness to this evening, there will be a time in the future where these trucks will be empty and these slaughterhouses will be closed and shut down forever. Woo! These industries, yeah. yeah. These industries, the ones that exploit animals, any of the animal enterprises, they fear the change that is coming. They fear us because they know that we are unstoppable and that we are reaching that tipping point where people will have to begin to listen to us and people won't be able to deny the reality of what is occurring. People will continue to bury their heads in the sand. But at some point, they'll have to face the simple realization, the realization that we made, and they'll have to change, just like we have done as well. Every time we come, we bear witness, and we stand united, shoulder to shoulder, in the face of adversity and injustice. We send a very clear signal to the world that this sort of injustice will no longer be tolerated, and these atrocities will be revealed to people who try to ignore their reality. And we will shine a light on the darkness, and we will shine a light so bright that every corner of that darkness will be revealed to the world, and the brutality and the violence and the abject horrific brutality that occurs will be shown to the people who try to deny its very existence. The world that we want, the simple vegan world that we want, is in front of us. It exists in the palm of our hands, in front of our very being. And all we have to do is reach out and take it. It's not going to be handed to us. It's not going to be presented to us in a silver platter, and it's not going to be given to us. We have to fight to make that world a reality. And when I use words like fight, it's important to note that our fight is not a fight of violence. It's not against cultures or religions or nations. It's against ignorance and apathy. And the only weapon that we need is the truth and the empowerment and voice to speak that truth. We can all speak that truth. We have an obligation to speak that truth. And every time we're silent, every time we don't speak up, we remain complicit in the atrocities that we claim to fight against. Never be silent in the face of such brutality and injustice. Use the voice that you have to speak up with every second of life that you are given. Make that vow today. Make it right now amongst the peers and amongst like-minded fellows that want to fight alongside you. Make the vow that says that you will fight with every breath that you are given. And as long as you have oxygen in your lungs, you will speak and you will shout the truth until everyone has heard it and until everyone has changed, until we have the world that we want. It's there in front of us. Feel it. Dream of it. See it wish for it, manifest it, but importantly, take it, make it, and create it. We have to. It's our obligation. The reality of a vegan world is not a question of if. It's a question of when. And we decide when the vegan world will happen. 
Every time we come together and we fight to bring that difference, we bring that when closer to the present. And every time we remain silent, we push that when further into the future. We are the ones who decide when that world will be created. And these industries can hide behind their lies and their propaganda and their manipulations and their scams and their deceit. But there will be a point in the very near future where that will no longer be good enough. Speak the truth. And even if your voice shakes, never stop speaking that truth. Thank you for being here.